Happy new month. You are welcome to my devotional. The insight to be sharing for this month is God of nations. God of nations. And the word for today is rescue us, O God. The word for today is rescue us, O God. And our focus scripture is taken from Psalm 79 verse 9. Help us, O God, and save us. Rescue us and forgive our sins for the sake of your own honor. We live in a very precarious times in our nation, Nigeria. We are really hard pressed on every side with no one to help. Our leaders are insensitive to our cries and pleas based on the difficulties caused by the monetary and exchange rate policy distortion and costly fuel subsidy program which has resulted to skyrocketing fuel prices, high prices of food items, and encourage insecurities such as banditry and kidnappings. In these situations we find ourselves in Nigeria, it is obvious that the solution to the myriads of problems and difficulties is not in the hands of government, based on the present realities, for it seems they are at loss of what to do. Everything they are trying is obviously not working. At a time like this, what then do we do as a people and nation? Complaints and reactions seem not to be working. Therefore, it is time to lift up our voices to call to God, the maker of heaven and earth, as recorded in Psalm 121 verses 1 to 2. And Psalm 124, verse 8, our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. A time was in Samaria when things were so terrible, as recorded in 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 28 to 29, that even mothers were eating their children. May that never be our portion in this nation, in Jesus' name. The people of Samaria cried to their king, but the king couldn't help, as recorded in 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 26 to 27a. Then, as the king of Israel was passing by on the wall, a woman cried out to him, saying, Help, my lord, O king. And he said, If the Lord does not help you, where can I find help for you? In Nigeria presently, if the Lord does not rescue us, then we are in for it. It is therefore time to lift up our voice in unison, to call to God, who alone has power, to rescue and deliver us. As recorded in Psalm 79, verses 8 to 9, Have mercy on us now. We have lost all hope. Help us, O God, and save us. Rescue us and forgive us our sins. For the sake of your own honor. Friends, enough of the complaints. It is time to bend our knees, open our hearts and mouths in prayers to God, our Father, and help. Indeed, we are in deep waters and married depth, as recorded in Psalm 69, verses 1 to 2. But our God is mighty to rescue us. Till next week on my devotional, as a nation, enough of the murmurings and the complaints. It's time to call to God for rescue. God bless you.